Oops. And on this Tuesday, boy, it sure felt like spring, maybe even summer. Summer, right. And uh, all of this coming as we continue to see dry conditions causing more drought worries. Crown Forest Teresa Stasio uh, reports now on where we are and what water districts are concerned about. The Bay Area got to bask in plenty of sunshine and warm temperatures on Tuesday, but the summer-like weather in March may not be so great for a drought outlook. It's super dry, basically. And, you know, we are seeing the driest January, February, March we've really ever seen in our historical records at East Bay Mud. So the um, 2013 rain year, we saw like 10 inches of rain from January through June. Now it's the end of March. We'll be lucky if we have three inches at the end of March. Andrea Polk with East Bay Municipal Water District says that they are in a drought management plan, drawing water from other sources to make up for the deficit. And that comes at a price drawing from contingency funds. For a long time, East Bay Mud has work to diversify our water supply. So we look at, you know, how can we recycle more? Can we use groundwater? Can we conserve more? Can, you know, so we're looking at a variety of options and, and, and things, and we, we have done that for, for many years. Drought one restrictions or voluntary measures are in place for East Bay Mud customers. Although Polk says conservation was going strong, it has slacked off lately. And that may make matters worse and possibly lead to shifting to stage two drought conditions, which could bring rate hikes. And I really need to see is our end of rain year or end of water year um, projections for how much water we think we're going to have at the end of this season. Our board is going to take a look at that data um, and in April, the end of April, make a decision about what level drought are we in. If things worsen and our water supply projections look low, then we may go to a stage two drought, which would perhaps mean things like man mandatory uh, conservation. It could mean drought surcharges. We it's really um, a question mark right now. Teresa Stasio, Crown for News.